Welcome to our live training session here with our 2013 Mustang GT. We're going to learn how to calibrate and tune this vehicle using our VCM editor software in conjunction with our VCM scanner software from HB Tuners and using our MPVI2 cable. Now let's jump into some details about this particular vehicle. We're going to find that it has a bone stock engine and we have a bolt-on Whipple supercharger kit. Now this particular kit is pulley for about 9 to 10 pounds of boost so we'll see how it performs once we start the calibration and tuning process. The supercharger kits also fit it with the 132 millimeter Roval style throttle body and the 5 inch mass airflow housing assembly intake assembly for that supercharger. In conjunction with this, we have a uh, long tube headers, we have high flow cats, and a cat back exhaust. On the fuel system side of things, we have ID 1050X injectors, we have a drop in fuel pump, we have a boosted pump going to that drop in fuel pump, and we're going to be tuning this vehicle using E85 fuel. So we have a lot of details to cover. Let's jump into our live training tutorial here so we can learn how we can create our base map so we can begin getting your engine fired up and starting calibrating and getting everything dialed in. Welcome to our live training session here with their supercharged S197 Mustang. Now we just went over all the details of the vehicle. Let's jump into our VCM editor software so we can begin doing the calibration process. The very first thing we need to do is go in here and create a base map within our VCM editor software. The base map is going to be taking the original red file out of the vehicle modifying it based on what we have done to the vehicle. So have we changed the fuel injectors? Yes, we have. Have we put on a supercharger? Yes, we have. Do we have long tube headers? Yes. There's all kinds of things that we have changed on this vehicle, just normal bolt-on parts, but the engine control module has been programmed for Ford to run a stock vehicle. So we need to go in and recalibrate this to begin. So when we fire off the engine in the next few tutorials and begin our actual tuning process, that things are in order and that we can work from a good base. That's the purpose of building a base calibration or a base map. So that's what we're gonna go after here in this tutorial. There's a lot of details to cover. So let's jump in and let's take a look at how we're going to do this. Now, I am in my VCM editor software right now. I have my ignition key powered on, but the engine is off. So we're key on, engine off status. I have my MPVI2 cable plugged into the OBD2 port and plugged into my laptop. Now in this configuration right here, I can read or write a file. In this case, I wanna read the engine control module so I can read that original equivalent file out of the engine control module and then we can modify from there. Now whether the vehicle has been tuned already or not, you still wanna go and save the original, the original calibration file in there and save it as original and don't touch it, don't overwrite it because you can always put that back in if you wanna put the car back to stock, if it's a stock calibration or if you're just trying to tinker with another tuner's file, then you're able to go back and put that original file in, in case you've messed something up or you're not improving upon what someone else has done. So either way, we need to do a read right now because I don't have the original equivalent file. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm gonna go up here into the top of the screen and we can see we have this EEPROM with a green arrow. This is read vehicle. Let's go ahead and click this real quick. And now we see our screen pops open. Let's go here to read and it's gonna allow me to read this calibration file out of the engine control module. Now this process takes about three to four minutes. So we'll be patient while it goes ahead and it does that read process. In the meantime of allowing it to read, we can see right here about three minutes, three, three minutes, 30 seconds or so to, to read this file out. While it's going in and reading, let's talk about a few things here. Now, in order to create the base map, we need to go in and account for all the parts that have been added to the vehicle. Things like a larger than stock mass airflow housing size that needs to be recalibrated in the MAF curve. The injectors, if we've changed those out, those need to be handled. Um, if we're, in this case, adding a supercharger, we need to go in and calibrate a lot of tables, torque tables, spark timing tables, speed density tables. So there's a tremendous amount of things that need to be changed. We're gonna be using the template applicator that's gonna allow us to import data that I have already saved in these essentially base map building uh, files that allow you to just import that into the file and we can really create a rapid base map generator using the template applicator. So I have uh, template files for general changes we always need to make for any coyote, for force induction, which is really key here, which is gonna get us up and running very quickly. Um, injector data, we have ID 1050X injectors in this. Um, so there's a lot of things that we need to account for. We're gonna be just going through the template applicator files that I have, and then we might be manually going in and changing some things. So for example, this particular vehicle is on E85. We're not doing a flex-based tune, it's just purely E85. The owner has plenty of E85 stations by their house, so they're not worried about putting a flex fuel or doing a flex fuel-based tune. In this case, we need to go in and manually update something like our fuel stoich, so it represents the E85 fuel, and we'll get into that as we go through the calibration file. So what we're gonna do here, after the read is complete and we save this, this original file as original, 
we're gonna go in and start just overlaying all of those template applicator changes into this calibration file and then we'll talk about what we've actually changed and why we're changing it I don't want to go and just blindly apply template applicator files if they're not going to work for let's say updating some something on the vehicle it doesn't make sense so there's a lot of things that are in those template applicator files that will update all kinds of things in the calibration file and I want to just make you aware of what is being changed and why and then we can fire up the engine in the next tutorial do the startup uh, starting to dial some things up uh, with the the idle control there's a lot of details in that alone and we'll move into part throttle tuning wide open throttle tuning um, and we'll go through doing mass airflow calibrating speed density calibrating torque table calibrating and uh, what we're going to be left with is a car that should turn key like stock and should have stock like drivability that's definitely a tall order here because we do have some pretty extreme modifications we have a massive mass airflow housing it's about four point 85 inner diameter 4.85 inch inner diameter and we'll also have a 132 mil roval throttle body so these are challenging things to calibrate properly and we will be going through how to do this we will be starting off with good data so that's the key in order to have success when you're doing any of this so we can see right now still have about 30 seconds left so we'll just be patient and allow this uh, to finish up um, so one of the big things here with this calibration and uh, just doing this process here with the blower is that throttle body as I just mentioned so that's going to be something that um, I have good throttle body data and we'll, we'll work with it and we'll see how far it's off by I've used the throttle body data I'm going to be supplying in several other Whipple cars and they work just fine so it is going to be a Whipple uh, calibrated table that I've exported out of another file that worked and that's what we're going to be starting off with here. So if you don't have these template applicator files, it's going to be near impossible to dial something like this combination of parts in here. So we can see the file has been read right now. What we're going to do here is move into, and I'm saving this under documents, HB tuners, and I have a logs and tunes folder. I'm going to create a subfolder in here for this project. I do this for every vehicle that I'm calibrating and tuning. I'm going to go here to new folder, and I'm going to call this 2013. It is a 2013 Mustang. Mustang. GT and we'll call it Whipple just give it a name and then we'll call EPA just so I have that as uh, differentiation between other folders in here other projects that I've been working with thanks for checking out our teaser clip if you want to see the rest of this video and more than 500 hours of current EFI training we have to offer make sure you click right here if you want to go and check out more teaser clips from this training course click here and you don't want to miss any of the videos we are gonna be releasing on this channel so make sure you subscribe and click here thanks for watching and I'll see you guys later